How much is Max Verstappen's Red Bull F1 contract worth? Formula One world champion Max Verstappen has committed his future to Red Bull until the end of the 2028 season, with his mega contract extension confirmed. The new deal, reported by Sky Sports News, adds another five years on Verstappen's stay with the team he joined as a teenager back in 2016, and with whom he won his maiden title last season. Max Verstappen won his maiden F1 World Championship last season, beating Lewis Hamilton in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. As he gets ready to defend his F1 World title, Verstappen has signed a new long-term deal being offered by Red Bull. According to Sky Sports, Max Verstappen's contract with Red Bull expires in 2023, and the latest deal he has agreed to will see him earn just over $53.3 million a year putting him on par with Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen announced that the new contract will keep him at Red Bull for at least five more seasons, at least until 2028. According to Max, choosing to stay till the 2028 season was an easy decision. He also claimed after winning his main title last year that he wanted to stay with the team for life. I love this team and last year was simply incredible. Our goal since we came together in 2016 was to win the championship and we've done that. So now it's about keeping the number one on the car long term. The new deal with Red Bull will also see Verstappen not able to join Mercedes should they be looking for a replacement for Lewis Hamilton if he decides to retire at the end of his current deal in 2023. Red Bull recently secured a huge financial boost from new title sponsor Oracle, signing a five-year, $500 million deal, one of the most lucrative sponsorship agreements in sports. The son of former F1 driver Josh Verstappen and Belgium kart champion Sophie Gumpin, Max took the karting world by storm, winning national, international, and world titles. Then having reached the required age, he moved into single-seaters for the 2014 season, contesting the FIA European Formula 3 Championship. Against more experienced opposition, Max won 10 races on his way to third place overall in the championship. He had, however, planned his next move long before the conclusion of his debut single-seater season, and 16-year-old Max joined the Red Bull Junior team in August and was announced as a 2015 race driver for Toro Rosso. After three FP1 appearances in 2014 and a short winter testing program, Max made his Grand Prix debut at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix, aged 17 years and 166 days the youngest driver in the history of the sport. Two weeks after that, he grabbed another record, becoming F1's youngest point scorer with 7th place in Malaysia. The talent to challenge for bigger prizes was clear, and ahead of the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix, Max was drafted into the Red Bull Racing lineup. His impact was nothing short of spectacular. He qualified third and drove an immaculate race to claim his first F1 victory and became the sport's youngest race winner despite confessing he was not entirely sure what all the buttons on the steering wheel did. Over the course of the following four seasons, Max firmly established himself as a major star of the sport and a regular race winner. Alongside his rise, the Red Bull team journeyed their way back to sustained competitiveness, with Max emerging as a genuine title contender. A brilliant U.S. Grand Prix win in October 2021 was followed by Max's third Mexican Grand Prix victory in four years, and he looked to set to march to title glory. Red Bull's rivals managed to find a significant performance boost, however, and over the following three rounds, the Dutchman's chief rival, Lewis Hamilton, roared back into contention. In the end, after 21 rounds and almost 23,000 laps raced, the fight went down to the wire and the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix with max level on points with Hamilton. The battle was epic, highly charged and hard fought. But following a late safety car period, Max closed in and overtook Hamilton on the last lap of the race to take the race lead, victory, and the 2021 Formula One Drivers' World Championship title. According to various reports, Max Verstappen's net worth is a whopping $60 million, which includes income from his on-track salary, bonuses, and various endorsement deals. The Dutchman as of now receives a staggering bonus worth of $17 million. His massive deal with Red Bull Racing sees him earn the second most in F1, just behind seven-time driver's champion Lewis Hamilton, who earns twice as much just in salary alone. Due to massive popularity around the world, the 24-year-old Verstappen is one of the most marketable F1 drivers on the grid. 
Verstappen's primary sponsors include Red Bull, Jumbo Supermarkets, Carnext.com, Zigo, among several others. Verstappen's previous deal ran until 2023, but his new commitment means he has the longest contract on the whole F1 grid, and he'll be 31 by the time it ends. Team boss Christian Horner was also quite excited about Verstappen joining forces with Red Bull. To have Max signed with Oracle Red Bull Racing through to the end of 2028 is a real statement of intent. Our immediate focus is on retaining Max's world championship title, but this deal also shows he's a part of the team's long-term planning. With the Red Bull powertrains division working towards the new engine regulations for 2026, we wanted to make sure we had the best driver on the grid secured for that car. Verstappen claimed his first world championship title in 2021 after edging out seven-time champion Hamilton in a controversial finish at the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in December. Verstappen singled as early as the cool-down lap at last year's title deciding Abu Dhabi Grand Prix that he wanted to do this for another 10 or 15 years together with the team. And barely two months later, Penn was put to paper to hold the Dutchman at Milton Keynes until his 31st birthday. The world champion was quoted as saying after winning the Abu Dhabi Championship, My life will not change now. I am of course very happy that I won the championship, that final achievement that I wanted in Formula 1, so everything else that comes now is a bonus. Instead, much like Charles Leclerc or Lando Norris, with whom Verstappen is likely to enjoy career-long battles with, being comfortable in his environment and with his team may be more important, allowing him to consistently get the most out of himself and reach new heights rather than risking unsettling his equilibrium in a team switch. The effective seven-year contract makes Verstappen the most committed driver on the grid, even in an era during which teams with title aspirations are locking down young drivers with unusually long deals. Ferrari is holding on to Charles Leclerc to the end of 2024. Italian media has reported that Monegasque is close to agreeing to stay until 2026, still well short of Verstappen's deal, while McLaren is keeping Lando Norris off the market until the end of 2025. In the meantime, both Red Bull drivers, Verstappen and Sergio Perez, were unable to finish 2022's season opening race at Abu Dhabi due to technical failures. But then Verstappen won the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix on March 27th and won the first ever Miami Grand Prix, having fended off Ferrari's Charles Leclerc early in the race and defended it in an enthralling late race battle. Despite his victory, Verstappen said that Red Bull are still being plagued by reliability gremlins and called on the team to sort them out. Teammate Sergio Perez, who finished fourth, suffered a loss of power early in the race in his chase of podium finisher Carlos Sainz. Verstappen said his victory in the Sunshine State was made all the more sweeter given his tough start to the Miami Grand Prix weekend. But he warned the team to keep the hard work up as he closes on Charles Leclerc's lead. It leaves no room for doubt that Red Bull Racing has Verstappen at the center of its long-term ambitions, including well into the new rules era slated to begin in 2026. While at 31 years old, Verstappen will by no means be at retirement age at the end of this contract. He'll have been racing for 14 seasons and likely be a 300-plus race veteran by then. With future contracts likely to be defined by how close he is to hanging up the helmet, the prospect of being at Red Bull Racing for life is very real. There's no doubt Verstappen and Red Bull Racing make a potent combination, and locked into a long-term relationship means together they can establish themselves as a generational force in Formula 1. This is all about F1 world champion Max Verstappen's all-new deal with Red Bull, which is over $53 million. For more exciting content, subscribe to our channel. Also, do not forget to like and share this video with fellow F1 enthusiasts.